Welcome to another episode of the Mostly Mike Show. Today I'm going a little out of my typical video realm to demonstrate the new audio app that replaced the Alex Audio Butler plugin. And that app is called NBoost, which is brand new for January of 2023. I thought that I would share this because although it does the same thing, NBoost works completely different than the way Alex does. Now at the time of this video, I'm not sponsored by NBoost. I am using the free 7 day trial for which I had to sign up for the annual subscription price of $168.54 US at the time of this video. If NBoost works to mix my audio tracks, it will be well worth the money for the time that it will save. When I downloaded NBoost, I was under the assumption that it was just a name change for the Alexi Audio Butler plugin. But this is not a plugin. NBoost is a standalone app. Unlike Alex, with NBoost you have to render the audio tracks from your editing software, which I'm using DaVinci Resolve 18 on a Windows computer. These tracks then get exported to a designated file folder before using the NBoost app. I've only been using DaVinci Resolve 18 for a few weeks, so I'm still learning a lot where things are at, so please forgive me if I misname anything. Here's a short video clip with the audio tracks that we're going to use NBoost to mix. These are all at full volume. Track 1 is a voice or narration, track 2 is the sound of the cats themselves while playing, and of course track 3 is the background music. Let's have a listen. After you. You better pack a lunch then, orange man. I'm gonna kick your little blonde ass. The box is mine and I'm heading in. As you can hear, it's very hard to differentiate between the tracks. Let's see what NBoost can do about that. First we need to set up DaVinci Resolve 18 for exporting audio files. It says to disable effects on the tracks, which is step 2 under the general workflow part of the guide. Step 2 is to go to the Deliver tab. Now I looked everywhere, on top, and it wasn't there. So being a rookie with Resolve 18, I watched good old YouTube and learned in a video that the Deliver tab is on the bottom right of the screen with the rocket ship drawn above it. This brings up a menu on the top left of the screen, and the guide walks you through the steps. They use the word tick or untick in the guide, which apparently means check or uncheck to all of us, at least where I come from. So in the custom export menu, go to custom as render setting. Under video, untick or uncheck export video. Under audio, make sure that export audio is ticked. Choose wave under format and under codec, choose linear PCM. Under output track, choose all timeline tracks. Next, you gotta choose a file name and the location, and for location, I just sent mine to the video project folder containing all the files and the footage for that video. After that, just click the Add to Render Queue at the bottom of the menu, and you'll see the file appear in the Render Queue at the top right of the main Resolve 18 screen. Just click Render All, and we wait a short while for the folder to render and send. This time can vary depending on your system. To simplify things, I pinned the NBoost app to my taskbar. Rock the taskbar. Rock. And when the app opens, click the load audio tracks, and the files should be numbered according to the track numbers in Resolve 18. Just click what type of audio track that they are on on the left side of each track, and we watch the tracks already adjust with the default settings. On the side of the tracks, there's track selection tabs, with two options labeled underneath for each track. Notice as I hover the cursor over each option, it explains underneath what effect that option will have on the mix. As you click on the different stuff, you will see the clip analyzing and making adjustments to the mix. You can now listen to the result by clicking the yellow play preview button at the bottom of the app window. Come on out, ninja. I know you're in there. Ha ha ha. You fool, tiger. I'm not coming out without a fight. Stick around to the end to hear the entire clip with the video. There's just a few options in each category, which I like a lot. There's a few compression and loudness settings on the main tab, which I left on the default settings, being that they are optimum for YouTube to get your luffs at negative 14 dB. Luffs are actually loudness metrics for measurement. I believe that broadcast television is negative 23 dB, and YouTube and most internet platforms call for negative 14 dB. When you're happy and you know it with your sound, just click the yellow export audio button on top and it sends this as a single wave file to the project folder. Just add this file to your media pool and drag it to a blank audio track. I then mute the other audio tracks and just use this track. That's pretty much all there is to it. My final thoughts on NBoost are that I believe it is a real time saver. 
I felt a bit let down because it seemed simpler to use as a plug-in during the days of Alex the Audio Butler. I guess that being standalone, it runs better, being less intensive on your system? I don't know, I'm asking. I had debated cancelling out before the trial ends, but I was very impressed with the projects I've created with it and the time it saves, so it may just be here to stay. What do you think? If you're as serious about your audio as I am with mine, I believe that NBoost will save you lots of valuable hours in mixing your audio. And time is money. I'll follow up if I run into any issues. And as promised, here's the entire cat video complete with the improved audio. Come on out, ninja. I know you're in there. Ha ha ha. You fool, tiger. I'm not coming out without a fight. Very well then, I'm coming in after you. You'd better pack a lunch then, orange man. Hiya! Hiya! And I'm gonna kick your little blonde ass. The box is mine and I'm heading in. Bring it on, ninja! It's a box top brawl. I got you in my claws, pumpkin face. You are my toy. Oh no! I forgot what the safe word is! If you liked this video, can you please do me a solid by clicking that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you're new here. Check out my Amazon store as well as my other videos and my binge-worthy playlist. Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation and I'll see you next time. <laughs>